Hey guys, how are you doing? Thank you so much for stopping by my channel, The Sacred Alchemist 1111. I'm your reader, Lorraine, and guys, I'm here to deliver your reading for today. This is going to be for the collective. It's not about the gender. It's not about the um, specific star sign. It is about the energy only, okay? So please do take what resonates, leave the rest for somebody else, and just keep it pushing forward. I'd like to say a big thank you and hello to the new and existing subscribers. Thanks guys so much for subscribing um, and just hanging in there for when I upload um, new material for you guys. If you haven't already done so, please do like, share, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell as well below the screen. And then you will also be informed by email once I've uploaded more readings for you guys, okay? Now, without further ado, let's just get stuck into your reading and see what kind of messages that we get. I'm going to be using the Sacred Destiny Oracle deck. <coughs> Clearing of the throat. So, throat chakras needs to be worked upon. I always take that as a sign whenever I do readings. Say what you mean. Mean what you say. Hmm kind of goes hand in hand right now speak your truth don't be frightened or don't feel intimidated to okay let's see the card that we have got wow truth truth i was just saying that just now truth speak your truth don't be frightened don't feel afraid when it comes to speaking your truth okay you have got every right to be that way and we've got trust trust yourself trust the strength that you've got within you, trust it, okay? I feel that you will need to be able, it's like this is the decision of a lifetime. The change is right now upon you. It's sitting right on your lap. And I feel right now you've got one shot at this. You've got one shot at this. And you had better make that right decision for yourself, okay? That is going to help you i feel that right now instead of you looking for anybody else you need to be looking for yourself and make sure that you're able to stand strong in whatever it is that you 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 want to do or whatever kind of people that you've got around you um you need to make sure that you are standing strong within your own truth and trust the process trust your instincts trust your intuition if there's something that you're not feeling um you need to be able to trust that if it's somebody um, that's coming to you with all this, this, you know, when I say outlandish, I'll use it loosely, but this outlandish opportunity or whatever the case may be. And if you've got that little hunch in your stomach, trust it. Okay. Everything that is going on right now, you're going to have to like, you know, like take it with a pinch of salt, but really do your due diligence. We've got the four of cups. So I sense a lot of you guys are in this energy right now of, um, knowing your worth knowing who you are and not settling for any rubbish okay this little cup up here has been following you around for quite some time someone's really trying to grab your attention here and it's like you know something piss off i'm kind of concentrating on my shit right now i'm concentrating on something that's going to give me the fulfillment and me the happiness i'm sorry to say in that kind of um i don't mean to sound egotistical guys when i say this okay because we're, we're not promoting ego here but in order for you to be able to give somebody um, any kind of assistance, advice, or to help anybody else, you have to help yourself first. You have to come first. You have to know and understand and feel the joy within yourself and feel the success within yourself first so that you will be able to provide. You won't be able to do that if you are neglecting yourself. So I sense that whoever's hovering around you, they are on the back burner. They're on the back burner or this person may not be there physically, but emotionally or energetically they're there. Or this is just you thinking about them in in passing, you know, in the past. Um, but right now you have got to deal with whatever it is that's right in front of you. OK, and that's a really good way to be. OK, sometimes this four of cups, you know, this rejection energy, it can, it can hurt, it can really sting, especially if you're on the receiving end. If you're the one that's extending that cup. And then you're getting blasted, you, you know. But I feel right now that this is you. You are the Four of Cups energy. The next card that we've got is the Four of Swords. So I feel that for some of you guys, you were in this energy of, I need a little R&R. &R. 
Okay, I need to rest up myself. The Four of Cups with the Four of Swords, to me, feels that there's definitely some form of connection there where disappointments and third parties are concerned, okay? You're no longer allowing this energy to consume you, okay? You're strengthening up yourself. Four is all about stability and security and building a firm foundation for yourself. So I feel that right now, um, this is what you want for you. You're doing you. You are trusting the process. The truth to me feels that like this would have been the Four of Swords. And the trust feels that like this would be the Four of Cups energy. For some of you guys, this would have been you spitting your truth um, to somebody or you finding out the harsh truth about what they've done, what they said, what they've done. Okay. So, you know, you have to put yourself first. Whoever is going to be wanting to be around you, they're going to have to take a seat in wait. Okay, we've got the Knight of Wands. I don't like this card. I have a problem with the Knight of Wands, especially when it's in reverse. Because I feel that this is the person that you need to be steering clear of. This this card keeps coming around. Um, this is about the second or third reading I've done with this Knight of Wands energy. And I've, I've, as soon as I see it, my back goes up. Okay, my back goes up. It's definitely a, a feeling of like somebody wants to sort of like, like rush in and to kind of speak their truth to you. Well, their, their version of the truth, by the way. I'm, and I've got to use that word loosely because I feel that, you know, you've had dealings with them in the past. You've had dealings with them in the past. And it's not been, it's been like to the point of where like, why am I going through this? Why am I wasting my time with this person? You know, why is this person doing this to me? Okay. Why am I allowing it? Why did I allow it? We've got the two of cups because there's love there. There is love there. And I feel that at some stage you're going to have, and this card came up as well before. You're going to have to, you look, in order for you to be able to really get to the nitty gritty and I feel to clear up whatever misunderstandings there are, um, on their part there, they misunderstood you. They've underestimated you. Because they've, uh, I think they think that they, that they can still do what they was doing to you before. They still feel that they can pull this off right now. But they're sadly mistaken, right? They are really, really mistaken here. Because I feel that, um, you know, especially with regards to this uh, Mercury retrograde, okay? When it comes back in, okay, you need to be, it's like you're preparing yourself for the inevitable, for the bullshit, Okay, this person is bullshit. And I feel that right now you are preparing yourself because if they do decide to come back in this year or whenever they come back in, okay, you it's like you're preparing yourself for, to, to spit your truth and to be ready. Okay, because I do sense that there's rejection that you want to give them. Whatever's happened to them in their life, hey, that's that, that's their that's their problem. Okay, but whatever was going on before um where where these emotions are concerned it's over it feels it it just feels like you just want this to be over we have got the ten of cups so this is really about the happiness that you would like to obtain for yourself babes there's nothing wrong with that okay if this person cannot give you the extra eight of cups to make the ten Okay, from the two of cups to, and the eight into the ten, then this person is not for you. They need to keep it pushing in the other direction. Okay, because this is what you want. You've got the wheel of fortune. So things are going to come to a head. Things are going to start up again. And I do sense that it's going to be this person's, I don't even know if they really are aware of what's going on with you. Because you're changing. You're changing. And I feel that this is, this is destined to play itself out, okay? Um, but I just feel that right now, um, it's you in your preparation, you, especially with the Four of Cups, focusing on you, your emotions, your truth, um, and what it is that you're trying to manifest here as well, okay? Because you, you can't deny that you don't have feelings for them, because you do. And you kind of know that within yourself as well. You do know that. However, you are not going to be putting up with any rubbish. You want your ten of cups. And you are going to, you, you have to spit your truth to them. You have to tell them, listen, this is what I want. 
okay? The conversation that you guys are going to have is going to be like this. Listen, mate, I want my Ten of Cups. I want my Ten of Cups. And if you are not going to be um, being able to build that with me, then, boy, you need to go in the other direction, okay? You go and bother somebody else. You don't come bothering me because I'm, I'm not having that, okay? We're going to have this conversation. You're coming back around, okay? Can you build this with me? Because I'm on the way to get this. If this is what you want, fine. Okay, we can work something out. If not, and we're going to be at loggerheads, then, mate, piss off. Seriously, just get the hell out of my life. And this Knight of Wands is going to know about you. And they're going to get to know who you really are. At the bottom of the deck, we have got the Nine of Pentacles. So I sense independent energy. This is you in your in your power, in your glory. You know your worth. You know who you are. You are standing strong like the diva that you are. This is you standing in your truth and your trust and your power. This is serious goddess energy that's flowing through this card. You know your shit. You know who you are. This little knight of wands has got their work cut out for you. Because I don't think that they know who they're messing with. I'll say that now. They don't know who they're messing with. And you are very, very happy, very, very content to stay like this if they are not going to be able to build with you. Because you're almost there. You're almost there. You just got one more Ace of Pentacles to get and you're there. You're going to get your nine, sorry, you're going to get your um, Ten of Cups, which would be, theoretically speaking, your Ten of Pentacles as well. You're going to get it all. But you're going to make sure that you have this person. Um, I mean, do they deserve it? Do they deserve it? They see you as this as well. This is how they see you. This is why I feel that they're coming back around quickly again. Um, but there's a little sense of hesitancy with them because they know that when you're like this, they can't come around and fool you. Okay? So you're very happy to meet up with them for a coffee. You know, to, yeah, let's have a chat. Let's have a drink. You know, I'll have a latte. You can have a drinking chocolate if you like. You know, a cup of tea. But you're standing like this. And you are going to be like this all the time. You're not going back. There's no going back to, the, you know, the nine of swords, say for argument's sake. That's not you. Or the eight of swords. That's not you. That was you in the past. And you know it to be true. But not now. You've, you've upgraded yourself. Okay? This is the rewards that the universe is giving you because of the amount of hard work that you put in for yourself, especially when using the Four of Swords energy. Okay? Resting yourself and meditating and praying and manifesting and really trying to get yourself out of a, of a sticky situation. You're trusting you. You're not trusting them. You're standing in your truth and it is the truth. It's not a lie. And, you know, it is what it is. And if they can't step up to the game, um, <clears throat> sorry, I know I said the game, they can't step up to this challenge, into this lifestyle, to this way of thinking, to this financial freedom. You're trying to build your empire, you're trying to build yourself up. If they cannot step up to you and match your energy, then they are going to have to take the boat and move along, okay? They're going to have to move away from you. They won't be able to, to come near you because they will be energetically removed. The universe, destiny will, will put um, a stop to it anyway. All right? Guys, I don't feel I need to clarify anything here. This is so straightforward. Okay? Make sure that you don't ever forget who you are. And never forget who you are, especially if you're going to be having a face-to-face -face chat with them like this. I mean, this could be you over the internet, you know, Zoom or Skype or whatever. But... You're going to be standing so strong. They're going, to be able, they're going to be able to feel your energy. The moment that they see you, the moment that they hear your voice, the moment you start to speak with strong conviction, they're going to know instantly, I can't mess with this person anymore. Or I'm going to, I'm going to make a huge effort and I'm going to ride with this person. Okay? Guys, this is excellent reading. If I do say so myself. 
<laughs> I don't mean to sound egotistical, but I really do love this reading. The energy is just so on point. And I love the fact that you, you know, we, I pulled up the, the truth and the trust card because I feel that this is really, uh, you know, what you're about. You're trying to really get up there. You're, you're climbing up the ladder, guys. You're climbing up, you're going up, you're moving up, you're ascending. And it's gorgeous. If they can't match your vibration, then they need to stay in the 3D because you're, you're heading towards 5D energy. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fantastic guys i'm going to leave it here thank you so much for watching this reading i do hope that this has helped you with your journey um if it has please do like share subscribe as well don't forget if you haven't already done so hit that bell below the screen so that you can be informed by email once i've uploaded new content for you guys i'm going to leave it here i've got some more readings to do um i'm gonna try and see if i can do the u versus m later on um and I'm going to do them for the elements. I'm not sure if I'll do them for the individual star signs, although I was trying to do it before, but this is just so much energy that I am, that, you know, that I go through whenever I do, you know, any kind of readings like this. It really does, it just really just, you know, um, really goes for my energy, okay? So I'm going to, I'll see how it goes, all right? But guys, this is where I'm going to part company with you. Have a beautiful, fantastic day. Enjoy whatever um, rewards that's coming towards you to, um, to, from the universe. You deserve everything, okay? You, you've, you know, you're putting in the work. Don't give up, guys. You are definitely like this, okay? Think of the nine of pentacles, all right? So guys, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much. Take care of yourselves and I'll be back with another reading. Peace out.